Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this video where I'm going to talk about the new snooker app. It's called WST Snooker, which is based on the video game Snooker 19, which I've talked about a lot on this channel. Uh, and I'm going to be reviewing it on my phone. Now, this is an iPhone 7. Yes, it's a little bit old in 2020. I was going to get a new one and then lockdown happened and I was like, well, I'm always by a charger. So, I've still got this whack-ass phone, the battery's not great, but it can run on it. And it's a good test of how well it runs on an older phone. So that's what I'm reviewing it on. Another disclaimer for this video, I was capturing this video through a bit of software and the video playback is a little bit stuttery. It played, it actually uh, played pretty smoothly, it wasn't as stuttery as the video makes out to be, but the resolution of the video is absolutely spot on. So if you see a bit of stuttery movement, that's not the game, that's the recording. Let's talk about some features of the app, how it compares, and if it's worth the cash, the hard-earned cash that you guys earn, or whether you should just not bother. So the app itself costs four ninety nine. That's right, four pounds ninety nine of your hard earned money. So let's have a look at what you get for that cash. So you get all the main features of the game. So the career mode. So you can go through the whole uh, different seasons. All the seasons are in there. The seasons, people. Uh, the practice table. However, with the practice table, my favourite feature of the practice table is where you can retake shots because you're like, ah. Oh, I missed that one, I don't know why, and then you press R3 and then you just retake it and retake it and realise that you were numpty and you didn't even aim at the right ball. But that isn't there, you can't retake a shot or I couldn't see it. And also, if you just want to move the white ball because you just want to keep momentum or you just made a slight mistake and you just want to move on, that's not in there either. So that kind of defeats the object of the whole practice table. But the practice table's there, I guess. It just doesn't work fully functionally. Is that a word? I don't know. Uh, the online is there, but at the time of making this video, it wasn't working. I don't know why, uh, and I don't know when it's going to be working again, but I know this is an issue that they know about, that the developers are working on. So you can assume that the feature will be there at some point, but it's just not working at the moment. It goes without saying that the graphics have taken a hit. I say a hit, it's more like a smash over the head because they want to make sure that this runs efficiently on all different mobile devices so they've had to down res the whole game. I've got a whole video about how the graphics compare, you can check that out in the cards, you know the cards, the YouTube cards. But just to go over it briefly, it looks fine, it looks okay for a mobile device, not too bad. The balls look a little bit shiny, there's a really weird bright light on all the balls and I think that's probably because the limitations of the lighting effects, they can't do all the fancy lighting effects, so they've artificially put on some sort of weird shine on the balls. It looks odd, but it's not too bad. The player models are all the same, a little bit more down res than the console versions, but they all still look like they're dead inside, so it is the same as the console version. And the controls work, you have to play with two hands holding the phone horizontally. Um, but one of my main gripes with these kind of games is the fine tuning on a pool or snooker game is the do or die. If you don't do the fine tuning right, you might as well forget it, throw it in the bin, because, because you need that fine tuning for these games. And it works pretty well, you have to just hold the black circle on the bottom left of the screen, and then with another finger or your thumb, just move the screen left and right. And that seems to work really, really well. So I'm quite pleased with their workaround on the fine tuning. You go from the TV view to the player view uh, with the red and green arrows in the corners. And then you tap the screen to take the shot. You have to tap it twice to start the power bar and then again to stop the power bar. This works pretty well. The only slight issue I had was putting position on the ball is a little awkward. On a controller, you can move the control stick down or up directly, but on a touch screen, it's a little bit harder to move it directly up or down. So sometimes you always put a little bit of side on the ball. And as you know, if you put side on the ball, what happens? That's right, you got it correct, person at home. It goes off the line and then you might actually miss the whole shot. So you just have to be careful with it. Now, a few things to note, my phone did get very hot when I was playing this uh, and it's going to drain your battery. I mean, my battery on my phone isn't the best anyway, so that's not a great measure, but my phone is an iPhone 7, not the newest phone in the world. It's something to consider. 
The long shots are very hard to see on the game. Um, the mid shots and the close-up shots obviously are a lot easier, but I had struggles <laughs> getting uh, the long shots in, especially when it was quite close to the pocket and it was a fine cut, for example. What does seem to happen on the mobile version that doesn't happen on the PlayStation version is that the power bar and the blue area in the power bar seems to be less important. When you hit outside of the blue area on the power bar, the line gets altered so you can actually miss the shot. But on the mobile version, they don't seem to do that. I purposely took a few shots where I drastically went outside the blue square and it didn't seem to matter at all. So I think this might be a way of them going, well, we know it's a touch screen, so it's not as easy as a button. So we've kind of allowed a little bit of wiggle room for you to just pop the ball. I can see why they did it. It doesn't really change your experience. It just kind of cheapens the whole game a little bit. I did see in the options that there was a option for a controller to be added, but that's not really what I play a mobile game for. I think you want to play it on the touch screen, you want to play it on the go, you want to play it on the bus, in a bus, on a bus, whatever it is. So a controller for me just isn't the way to go. If you really cared about playing a snooker game on the go and you wanted the controls, you could probably get a Switch and a Switch version of it and a whole bunch of other games as well. So my conclusion is it's a decent package for $4.99. If they get the online working, I would say it's not a bad buy if you're desperate, desperate to get some snooker while you're on the move. You know, you get the full career mode, practice table, that's not quite there. But the physics are as good as they are in the main game. That's the most important thing. So I think if you want to buy this, it comes down to how do you like to play your snooker games? Are you desperate to play it when you're on a commute? Or do you want to play it like I like playing my snooker games? In my little gaming chair, with a controller in hand, on a nice TV, soaking it all in, enjoying the dead character looks, and playing some snooker. That's how I like to play it. I personally don't think 3D pool and snooker games translate very well to a mobile device. It's tough to do. And that's why we see 2D pool games seem to work much, much better on a mobile platform. I think for me, if I had a bigger screen, um, if I had a tablet, uh, I think it could possibly work. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's easier to play with a bigger screen. But this is the size of my screen right now. And I really think that I would struggle to have a, any long-term enjoyment with it. For me, 3D snooker on a mobile phone just is really, really tough to do. There's a lot of fine finesse that you have to do with the line. There's a lot of finicky controls that you have to get through. And you need depth. And you need a big screen. That's why 2D snooker and pool games work so well. Because the size of the screen, the resolution of the screen, the shape of the screen, all kind of works very well to when you look at a pool table from top down or a snooker table from top down. It's the same shape. But when you have uh, an extra dimension to that, it's really, really difficult. So I don't think I'll be spending much more time with it just because it's a little bit too faffy for me. And when I actually recorded the video uh, for some of the PlayStation footage, it was just so nice to go back to using a controller. So if I had a bigger screen, a bigger phone or an iPad or whatever, uh, maybe I would have a better experience. But this isn't really going to be the way that I'm going to be playing my snooker uh, on the go. So for me, it's a no. My opinion of it is this. Like, I can't blame them for putting it out, right? The mobile device is such a huge market. The snooker's on the TV as I record this. So it's in people's minds. It's kind of the last reach, the last thing they need to do with this game to sort of squeeze some money out of it. And if that money can go towards another snooker game, uh, something where we can improve on all the great things that we love about Snooker 19 and put that into a Snooker 2021, then I'm all for it. I don't mind them doing it. And hey, maybe this is the only way some people can actually play it. So good for them. So I don't blame them. I don't really hate the fact that this exists. It's not really going to affect me. Um, but it's not really going to be something that I'm going to be playing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it was useful. If it was useful, make sure you give the video a like. Uh, also, if you like this channel, if you're the first time you're here, subscribe. Uh, I, I talk a lot about Snooker 19, but I'm trying to make this a channel about Snooker video games and pool games in general. I mean, yeah, there is a lot of just Snooker 19 on this channel, but eventually I'll have to move on at some point. Who knows? Uh, so, yeah, uh, if you like that stuff, then subscribe. If you don't, then just carry on with your life and watch videos, cringe videos or whatever people watch, or hydraulic press videos. I don't know what these people 
watch on YouTube. You can also play me at Snooker19. I do live streams where you can give me a game on the PlayStation or Xbox. I do have on, I, I do have it on the Switch and the PC, but nobody nobody plays it, and and nobody plays me on. No one's going to play me on the mobile version. Um, that's about it. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, leave a comment if you got this far. If you got this far, leave a comment. And the word, the secret word is mob. That's how I know you've got this far. Congratulations. You win nothing. Goodbye. <laughs> what am I doing with my life?